Hello everyone, welcome back to another session in Dentistry and more. Today we have basal cell carcinoma, BCC, which is also known as rodent ulcer, which is a malignant condition in uh, epithelial origin. And it most commonly seen on the exposed surface of skin. So let's learn basal cell carcinoma and its detail. So rodent ulcer which is most frequently develops on the exposed surface of the skin, face and scalp. Okay, skin, face and scalp. In the age group of uh, middle or elderly, so middle or elder age group and also it is peculiar in fair skinned people okay so it is a malignant condition or carcinoma which is seen on the exposed surface of skin face and scalp in middle or elderly people and especially in the fair skinned group of people it is a slow growing and the metastasis is very rare okay it is a slow growing malignancy and metastasis is very rare in this malignancy but can cause a significant local destruction so the most common etiology is uv light exposure that is chronic uh, sunray exposure people who uh, work or people who are exposed to the sunlight every day or very chronic manner and the ionizing radiation uh, like x-rays those who are exposed to ionizing radiation and chemicals such as arsenic people who are exposed to the chemical those who are in industrial area or industrial uh, job where the arsenic is involved and people with immunosuppression immunocompromised people are at risk of this malignancy and also syndromes like xeroderma pigmentosum and nevoid basal cell carcinoma syndrome. Nevoid BCC syndrome and xeroderma pigmentosum. Xeroderma pigmentosum. All these are etiology of BCC. So BCC is thought to arise from pluripotent stem cells of the basal cell layer that is why that peculiar name basal cell carcinoma which is arising from the basal cell layer of epidermis as well as the follicular structures such as hair follicle stem cells well moving on to the clinical features it is most frequently in the fourth decade of life fourth, fourth decade and male to female ratio is 2 is to 1 most common in male group than female and it is uh, mostly affecting the middle third of the face okay middle third not the upper third or lower third it is affecting the middle third of the face and it does not arise from the oral mucosa so it is not seen intra orally except for invasion from the adjacent skin surface to the intraoral so it is not seen on or it is not arising from the oral mucosa so intraoral lesions are very rare so there are subtypes of uh, basal cell carcinoma one is nodular nodular basal cell carcinoma which is most common so this nodular basal cell carcinoma it begins as a slightly elevated papule with a central depression okay with a central depression which ulcerates heals over and then breaks down again so very mild trauma may cause bleeding eventually the crusting ulcer which appears superficial which develops a smooth rolled border representing tumor cells spreading laterally beneath the skin so there will be lateral spreading beneath the skin and there will be a pigmented type which is the second one 
pigmented basal cell carcinoma the second type pigmented basal cell carcinoma okay so pigmented basal cell carcinoma is in addition to the features seen in the nodular type this type contains black or brown pigmentation black or brown pigmentation so almost clinical features are same as nodular type with a papule with a central depression ulceration and the lateral spreading beneath the epithelium along with black and brown pigmentation and it is more commonly seen in dark skinned people next we have cystic basal cell carcinoma cystic basal cell carcinoma which may contain translucent blue gray cystic nodule blue gray cystic nodule and which mimic benign cystic lesions okay that is cystic basal cell carcinoma now we have superficial that is a fourth type superficial bcc which presents as a scaly patches or papules commonly on the trunk that are pink to red brown in color pink to red brown in color often with central clearing and a thread like border okay that is superficial bcc now we have micro nodular bcc micro nodular micro nodular bcc this micro nodular bcc which is very aggressive type which is less prone to ulceration it may appear as yellow white when stretched and is firm to touch it may have a seemingly well defined border okay and the last type is infiltrating bcc morphiform and infiltrating morphiform and infiltrating type infiltrating bcc morphiform and infiltrating type these are aggressive types with uh, sclerotic papule or plaques which may be mistaken for scar tissue border is usually not well defined and often extends well beyond the clinical margins so there will be ulceration bleeding and crusting okay so these are the six types so the first one was nodular then pigmented cystic then superficial micronodular morphiform and infiltrating basal cell carcinoma these are the six types of basal cell carcinoma now in histologic features in nodular and pigmented types the tumor cells called basiloma cells basiloma cells okay in these two types the basiloma cells typically have large oval hypo hyperchromatic nuclei with little cytoplasm okay large nuclei that is hyperchromatic nuclei with little cytoplasm and these are arranged in well demarcated islands which appear to arise from the basal layer and overlying epidermis and which invades into the underlying epidermis underlying dermis sorry whereas in pigmented type the benign melanocytes in and around the tumor which produce large amount of melanin okay so there will be melanocytes which is present in and around the tumor and the superficial type the lobules of tumor cells drop from the epidermis in a multi focal pattern okay and the morphiform type which exhibit infiltrating thin strands of tumor cells in a dense fibrous stroma so these strands of infiltrating type are thicker and have a spiky irregular appearance the micro nodular type which appears as a small nodular aggregates of basaloid cells okay so when this basal cell carcinoma is mixed with squamous cell carcinoma which is known as baso squamous carcinoma baso 
squamous carcinoma so those are the histologic explanation of the various types now let's move on to the treatment part of basal cell carcinoma the small lesions such as less than one centimeter lesions we go for surgical excision or laser ablation or electro dissection and curettage with 5 mm margins of normal appearing skin so if it is a one centimeter so we take a 5 mm normal tissue also for the excision so if it is a large lesion we need to go for radical surgery or radiation therapy for sclerotic type or or recurrent lesions we need to use a micrographic surgery which uses like a frozen section uh, evaluation of specially mapped and marked surgical specimen to determine whether tumor tissues has been left behind so that is micrographic surgery micrographic surgery it defines the borders very clearly because of the frozen section evaluation and prognosis is good since recurrence is very uh, uh, it's not common and metastasis is very rare and death if occurs is usually the result of patient's uh, negligence and local invasion into the vital structures so that is all about the basal cell carcinoma or rodent ulcer so we talked about uh, the clinical features the six types its uh, differentiation between uh, clinical features and the histological features and finally the treatment part okay so i'll come up with a new topic in industry and more thank you